Tonight, a remarkable high school football game on Long Island. Remarkable because of what happened off the field. Two longtime rivals, Cold Springs Harbor, Harbor and Roosevelt, were able to play because one team donated money to keep the other team's football program alive. Tim Fleischer has more. If there was ever a high school football game built on rivalry, Not on this build. sportsmanship, and now a bonding of two different communities, this is it. To all of us, to all of you, thank you. The Roosevelt Rough Riders thanking their biggest rivals, the Cold Spring Harbor Seahawks, for helping to make this opening game possible. It's when the budget goes down that the athletic program is the first thing to go. Putting Roosevelt's season in jeopardy and forcing parents to raise funds. Here in the affluent community of Cold Spring Harbor, where they play on AstroTurf and have a lighted field, players and parents had heard about Roosevelt's fundraising efforts and decided to run a blitz and help them out. Others aren't as fortunate, and uh, you know what? All these kids should have the same opportunities, and they should have the opportunity to play a sport that they love. An anonymous businessman also made a very generous $20,000 contribution enough being raised for Sandra and Raymond Jones's son and his teammates to play. It's a nice thing and I think it gives the boys the competition that they need. It's not charity, it's something that we thought was right. And even with a tough loss to Roosevelt, Seahawk players share a sense of pride. They were always the team we tested ourselves against and it's been a great rivalry for, you know, a good amount of years, so you know, I figured we should do something about it. Reporting from Cold Spring Harbor, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. A great story. It is hard to imagine a more open-minded neighborhood in New York.